art is a very rewarding process, you know, because I like the fact that I start from nothing and build something. Good art is something that you, you find the things to go in and you also put part of yourself inside. On welding the pieces, I use a MIG welder, which is a wire feed, you know, and it's a molten steel that comes out and bonds with the steel. So, um, I use a lot of punch outs on this particular piece, um, which are, you know, in the industry, they punch holes in big, large pieces of steel to, to lay bolts and things in, so a lot of the punch outs get left behind, and I use them to build a lot of my faces. Actually, the whole face on this piece, um, you, as you can see on the inside, is all punch outs, you know, so I kind of, I lay them in to get the general form, and then I weld on the outside of them, you know, to try to, to get my details and stuff. Of course, this one doesn't have any teeth or any ears or anything yet, but it's starting to be the shape of the face. This particular piece is, um, the armature is made out of pencil rod steel. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna demonstrate one of my techniques, which is um, taking stainless steel banding and kind of wrapping it and welding it and cutting it off to form like the more details on the body. These are all lightly tacked in. They're all tacked just about the same way from the start here. Kind of contour with the body shape. Go ahead and drop it. Like so. This style piece takes a long time. It's pretty labor intensive. You know, it's just one strap at a time. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to um, just clean up grind some of the face. I, I put a cutting wheel on, on my grinder and you know it gets me a real fine edge so I just do clean up work and you know and work on the face itself. And I go into you know welding shops, some of my friends are auto mechanics and things like this and junkyards and you know you pull at places and stuff like that. You know they usually know me when I come up and they kinda know what I want. I also like the fact that you know it's recycled material so I'm kinda like slowly cleaning up the earth you know and keeping stuff out of junkyards and places like that, you know, as long as it's a sturdy piece of steel, I can use it, whether I picked it up off the side of the road, or I went to a welding shop and got some drop cuts from them, or, you know, I went to an, an old junkyard and I'm pulling off parts of, you know, some kind of old dinosaur and dragging it to the shop. To me, it's a, it's a visual way of speaking. So without saying words, I can use my art to, to speak and, and to tell you how I feel and, you know, and that's just kind of how the pieces go for me. You know, that's what I want people to, I want people to see something inside the work. A great thing about art is like the endless possibilities. I mean, anything you can think of, anything you can imagine can be made, can be welded, can be produced. I'm working on my way to becoming a world-renowned sculptor, you know, and I've got a great following in, in Florida, and, you know, I have backing by private collectors and museums and things, and I'm just trying to keep, keep raising my level of art, keep, keep improving on my skill, and, you know, being able to let people all, from all over, you know, experience my work and, and take in some of that, you know, and also I would like to leave behind something, you know, good for my family. I think it is something that, you know, will, will last a long time, a lot longer than me. So, you know, it's just an idea and I'm just trying to kind of change the way people might look at, at sculpture, you know, and just kind of sculpt my way into the 21st century and, you know, really leave behind kind of like a legacy of work that, that's important and, um, you know, good for everyone.